complex facial fractures can be tedious, and for some reason you always find yourself looking at these CTs at 4 to 5 a.m. When presented with these cases, it's quite helpful to know the pattern of these fractures to make a simple conclusion instead of a three-page description of multiple facial fractures. So let me show you a simple approach to the Lefort fracture on CT. Before we start, I think it's important to know that Lefort fractures are fractures of the mid-face that involve the separation of a portion of the mid-face from the skull base. All Lefort fractures include a fracture of the pterygoid plate, with different patterns of fracture lines for each type. If the pterygoid plate is intact, we can exclude Lefort fractures, but a fracture of the pterygoid plate isn't a 100% guarantee of a Lefort fracture. So, let me demonstrate the approach as we work our way through this case. Here we have a patient with severe facial trauma, and I think you can all see there are multiple fractures, but we're not going to get interrupted by them. In the actual view, we will first look at the pterygoid plates. Here we have a fracture on both sides, so this might be a Lefort fracture. We just need to figure out what type or a combination. And I emphasize on combination because we can have different types on each side. Once we have established a pterygoid plate fracture, we switch to the coronal view. First we look at the anterolateral margins of the nasal fossa. Here we have a fracture on both sides. Now we follow the fracture backwards to see if it extends towards the pterygoid plate on both sides. This means that we have a Lefort fracture 1 bilaterally. Next we look at the inferior orbital rims. Once again we have a fracture on both sides, so we follow it backwards like before, and we can see that these fractures extend back towards the pterygoid plate. Therefore we have a bilateral Lefort 2 fracture. Finally, we look at the psychomatic arch and lateral orbital wall. These are intact. Remember though, a fracture can go through the psychomatic or frontal suture, so look for a subtle whitening. So to conclude, in our case we have a bilateral Lefort 1 and Lefort 2 fractures. Don't forget to subscribe if you want more content like this.